What is up you guys, my name is Sam and today I'm going to show you how to create a local Forge server for Minecraft 1.10.2 on your Mac. Here we go. So like I stressed at the beginning of the video, this is going to be a tutorial on how to create a local Minecraft server, not a public Minecraft server. Now the difference between a local and a public is that with local, people need to be on your network. They literally have to be in the house or in the office with you to play. They cannot be outside of the network on another network. With public servers, people from outside of your home network have the ability to connect to your server. So they don't have to be on the same network as you. And if you want to do that, you are going to need to do something known as port forwarding. I will not be demonstrating port forwarding in this video. I will instead link a tutorial in the description below on how you can port forward. Now a disclaimer here, you need to understand the security risks of port forwarding. Unless you are only planning to give your IP address out, your public IP address out to people that you know, other people could potentially get on that IP address and access your network. So that is something you need to be aware of if you are planning to create a public server. All right, now that you have those two things in mind, let's get started with the tutorial. So the first thing you need to do is you need to have Forge installed, Forge for Minecraft 1.10.2 on your Mac. I've created a tutorial on how to do just that. Once you have done that, if you haven't already, then you can continue watching this video. So the first thing you need to do is Head to files.minecraftforge.net. I will put a link to this in the description below. And then what you want to do is under Minecraft versions, make sure you hit 1.10 and make sure 1.10.2 is selected. You will know it is selected if it is bolded. It is bolded, it has been selected. Scroll down to where it says download latest and click installer. You will then be taken to an add focus page and your download link will appear in the upper right hand corner, the red skip button right here. Click that and it will download. Click keep if you are on Google Chrome. Now let's get out of that and let's drag our .jar to the desktop. And now what you want to do is create a new folder. We are just going to call this Forge MC Server 1.10.2. And now double click on your installer.jar, click open, then click install server. And now you want to change the target directory. Click this right here. We are going to head to our desktop and we are going to select our Forge MC Server 1.10.2 folder. I will then click Choose. Then I will click OK. And it will download all of the server files that we need into this folder. Once that is completed, you should hopefully get a notification that looks something like this, where it says successfully downloaded Minecraft server, downloaded however many libraries, and installed Forge. Click OK. Now let's drag our .jar and the log file that it creates into the trash. Now let's open up our Forge MC Server folder. And now you have two .jars. You have your typical Minecraft Server .jar and then the Forge Server .jar. You want to click the Minecraft Server .jar first. So double click that. After doing that, you will see a few new files appear in your server folder. Click on the end user license agreement .txt file right here. Double click on it. And then right down here where it says EULA equals false, you want to change it to true. This is so you accept the end user license agreement. Um, Command S to save or click file save to save it. Now let's get out of here. Now that that is complete, let's double click on the Minecraft server .jar one more time. All right, as you can see, we have a running Minecraft server. It is currently running. And if we look in our server folder, we have all these other new files, your typical vanilla Minecraft server files. So once that is completed, Go to the text box in your Minecraft server window and type stop to stop the server from running. Then click on your forge universal.jar. This is this will be the jar file you will use to run your forge server. Double click on this. All right, now I'm going to talk about installing mods onto your server and connecting to your server on your local network. So to start, of course, make sure you are on your forge profile and click play. If you are the server host and you want to connect to your own server, all you have to type in is local host and then join the server. And as you can see, here we are on our Minecraft server. Now I'm going to disconnect real quick just to go over something else. So another thing, if you want to install mods on your Minecraft server, the people that are connecting to your server need to have the same mods as the server. So in my Minecraft profile, I have the Lucky Block mod. That is 
the mod that I have. If I open up my server folder and go into my mods folder, my server also has the Lucky Block mod, and it's literally the same version as the one that my Minecraft profile has. So you need to make sure that everything matches from the mod version number to the game version number. It all needs to match in order for it to work. So just to put that into more simplistic terms, the player needs to have the same type. The player needs to have the exact same mods installed as the server in order for everything to work. So here is how other people that are on your network that are literally in the same building as you are, here is how they can also connect. All they have to do is click on the multiplayer tab and then they can go back to direct connect or whatever they, whatever they will use to connect to your server. What you the host have to do is you have to go to system preferences and then click on the network tab and next to whatever connection you are using, whatever type of connection you're using that has green next to it, that means that's the one that you are using. You want to look where it says IP address right here. This is your secure IP address. Then what you want to do is you want to copy your secure IP address just like that. And then you want to, of course, give it to other people that are on the same network as you are, other people that are in the building that also want to connect. Then you, they, you just tell them to put that IP address into their server address field. Then you tell them to put colon 25565. Now the reason why I put the port as 25565 is because that is the default port that comes in the server properties file right here which is located in your server folder. You can open this with text edit. So if you scroll down on your server properties file you will see that the port by default is 25565 right here. And this is what other players will need that are in the same building as you. This is what they will need to use to connect to your server. I should also mention that the server properties file allows you to make all of these other adjustments to your Minecraft server. It goes very in depth. You can change the description of your server. You can change the, the generate structures feature of your server. You can change spawn times. You can change a bunch with this. So the, the server properties file is very important if you want to go more in depth into customizing your server. So let's get out of that. All right, now that we have our secure IP address and our port number, let's click join server. So as you can see, connecting both of those ways works. Now I want to see if the lucky block mod works. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to OP my character. All right, as you can see, it confirmed it right there in the server. And now I'm going to switch my game mode to creative mode. And I'm going to go into the search items field and look up lucky block. And as you can see, the lucky block mod is, is here. I'm going to get a very lucky block. I'm going to go back to survival and place it. And as you can see, I got a sweet hero's potion in my lucky block. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you create, customize, and connect to a local forge server for Minecraft 1.10.2 on your Mac. All right, everyone, that is it for this tutorial. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.